How to code the Radio Waves Remote Control BES 1479S combined with the control unit S-Taser. Check on the label the identification code of the control unit located in the engine room. Check the ID code of the Radio Waves Remote Control. The operations described must be carried out within a time limit of 20 seconds. The intermittent and irregular light of the signalling LED indicates that the board memory is empty. With some versions of this control unit, even the manual panel may not work if no remote control is memorized and the red LED is flashing. Make sure the transmitter batteries are charged and in good condition and are inserted correctly according to the polarity indicated. Unscrew the four perimeter screws. You can then remove the cover from the control unit and thus access the board. Move selector S1 from the on position to the off position and check that the green LED turns off. In this way, the backup key is turned off so it is possible to write the data on the board memory. Press the black button until the electronic board emits a double beep. Since this is a radio wave remote control, it is necessary to be within a range of a few meters from the receiving antenna. Press any button other than the two keys at the bottom relating to the lights and remember that the time limit to perform this operation is 20 seconds. Wait 20 seconds and then test the remote control to check for correct operation. The successful storage of card is confirmed with a prolonged acoustic signal. In the event the board has not received any signal, after 30 seconds the procedure will reset itself and you will hear five consecutive beeps. At this point, reposition the backup selector S1 from the off position to the on position. The green LED lights up, thus signaling to the operator that the backup is active and therefore the data has been saved.